ओम तत्सत my humble prostrations to the all pervading brahman to my worshipful guru ji swami jyotirmanand ji maharaj to all the sages and saints of this world and to you divine souls watching this satsang today we will be studying sutra number 35 of the samadhi pad from the raja yoga sutras of patanjali commentary by swami jyotirmananda ji and narrated by myself swami nikhilananda so today's uh, sutra is vishayavati va pravrat उत्पन्ना मनस स्थिति निबंधनी विल रिपीट विषयवती व प्रवृत्तिर्पन्ना मनस स्थिति निबंधनी वॉट दैट मीन्स इज विषयावती पर्टेनिंग टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स व और प्रवृत्ति ही द स्पेशल फंक्शन ऑफ द माइंड उत्पन्ना हैविंग अ रिजन मनसा ऑफ द माइंड स्थिति स्टेट निबंधनी होल्ड्स और बाइंड्स सो लेट्स मेक दिस कंबाइन दिस टुगेदर व्हाट इट मींस इज दैट व्हेन द फंक्शंस ऑफ द माइंड पर्टेनिंग टू डिवाइन ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराइज दे बाइंड द माइंड टू द स्टेट ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड समाधि सो दिस इज वेयर वी स्टार्ट टू enjoy the fruits of our efforts that we have done by controlling anger greed lust pride all the impurities that were inside we have tried to cleanse them and then we have we controlled the agitation of the mind and once we have reached that state now where the mind is calm and pure what happens that has been what's explained here as an aspirant meditates daily sattva continues to dominate the mind so your sattva or purity increases to a point point that as a result there are there arise super sensory perceptions so these are called the tan matras which are super sensory they cannot be visible but they give you and there are these perceptions of the five senses which are si- sight sound touch taste and smell but these super sensory perceptions caused by the elevated functions of the mind which is you are now in that state where you are elevating yourself in your meditation experience they are called vishayavati pravritti which means you are automatically going towards the subtle and the uh, the glorious aspect of those senses which are not part of this worldly experience so therefore a yogi allows his mind to attain higher levels of concentration you automatically go to that next level and then you um, your concentration grows then meditation comes in and samadhi is the result by pursuing any super sensory perception you may listen to some music or you may be thinking of something or vision realizing something and and because you are so pure that that sense will lead you on and it that may arise due to the purity of the mind so it will since the mind is pure it becomes very easy most people don't experience it so they don't know but once we walk on this holy journey we start to now enjoy the fruits of our labor and this is what patanjali is saying you are not doing this all tapasya for no reason you are doing it because you want to accomplish something substantial so this inner experience in enables him to practice faith in yoga because now when he is doing it his experience is personal he has felt it he has experienced it this is why we say uh, sanatan dharma is a practical vedanta is a practical uh, process you experience it on yourself you don't need to scientifically prove it to anybody the proof is you your own experience the and uh, you develop faith in yoga and perseverance in the practice of meditation why because you have such a pleasant experience it automatically makes you wake up early and you want to experience that again which means it's like the take off of the flight you are now enjoying the process and like a bird you're flying in your meditation you have transcended this world i hope you are enjoying these videos uh, satsangs i am uh, putting in effort so i hope you're finding them helpful and if you are uh, my humble request is to uh, subscribe subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already uh, i know most of you have but please share this information with others this is profound wisdom that has been lost uh, 
from our wonderful Sanatana Dharma and uh, our jobs as sages and saints and spiritual aspirants is to share it with everybody. We cannot be selfish. We have to bring anybody who's in pain, anybody who can be helped on this path. And that's a wonderful act uh, of uh, selflessness and a beautiful act we can do. So please share uh, and also please feel free to leave me comments or anything else you would like to see but uh, uh, these are uh, extremely profound and I uh, what we are doing together here is we are walking on a life-changing journey this is not just a pure academic exercise this is a practical um, experience we are going through together so I can tell you if you're willing to put in the time and the effort you should start to see your life change i am getting some very positive emails from uh, or um, comments uh, on these um, satsangs from uh, some advanced sadhaks but my goal is to uh, send it to um, you know even people who have not done yoga so they can start enjoying this um, this whole process in this world we are so full of stress tension worry running after money material things and and you know the most th biggest thing is we are not happy we just don't find happiness uh, and we try to find happiness in material things in relationships and people in possessions and uh, unfortunately we are deluded every single time so here we are walking on this journey where you are self-contained you have all these tools right within you and I'm giving you these free videos every single day as a satsang format so so, um, so we can all evolve. It is all God's plan. We are all here on this planet Earth for a little while. So let's make sure we utilize every moment and then we become instruments of God. Share this knowledge with others. Bring happiness on other people's lives and uh, smiles on their faces. It's not just money. Money is of course a good tool to help people but also we can, but knowledge is much more profound with, with good gyan we can make a big difference and that is of course the mission of my life and my guru's uh, mission as well um, so um, just wanted to share that with you that continue to please uh, support um, this uh, yoga sutras and all the spiritual knowledge of the sanatana dharma and uh, these days there are so many different sects and spiritual thoughts and the internet is flooded with um, uh, with tidbits of information that our head starts to spin so all you need is an oasis uh, a place where you can find peace you can find heaven a slice of heaven is all we need and I believe if we follow this holy path that is where we belong so if you feel the same stay connected to me and my channel and our mission um, we are all about integral yoga which is selfless service and then uh, devotion and then meditation which is this part we are covering and finally jnana yagya which is dissemination of spiritual knowledge if we blend these four holistically we accomplish what we came here to do which is what god realization self-realization mukti nirvana that is the main focus we are after we are not going after small things we are going after the biggest of the biggest things but in a very holistic and in a very happy way enjoying the journey as we walk along so this is swami nikhilananda om tatsat